Hey guys, Ross here from Consolidata. And sorry, my voice is scratchy. I still have not shaken this thing. In fact, if you look at the uh, look at my eye, it looks terrible. But I want to show you guys something that I've been working on. It's taken about a month and a half or two, maybe two months even um, to prove this out. But people were wanting to be able to, within their Go High Level accounts, display what someone's response time was, how many deals fell into those buckets, the percentage of deals, and also what the win rate is when you meet specific response times. Now, there is no specific way within Go High Level to do this. And so I'll show you guys how I ended up setting this up. It's in a workflow and how I used tags to be able to do this. But you'll notice that this widget that I just created, it creates four different buckets, five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and then an hour plus. I figure after an hour plus, you know, you're toast. You want to try to follow up leads much quicker than that. If you guys wanted to, you could keep it going. Anyway, with that said, uh, if you notice here, it'll show how many deals fell into these buckets, what the percentage of deals was. So for instance, 95% of their deals took one hour plus. And keep in mind, I have this set up that this is not based off of when a lead comes in. No, 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 because we have automations for that. This is based off of when a customer replies to a lead, how long is it taking them to kick in? past the automations, when the customer has now responded to our automation. 95% for this customer took over an hour for them to respond to. Notice here, 30 minutes, 4.22%, 4.22% also for 15 minutes, 7.83% within five minutes, but notice your win rate. Your win rate is almost double when you're at five minutes versus one hour. So this would be a great way to say to your customer, listen, we don't even need to generate more leads. If you, we could just get your people responding within five minutes, we're going to see this number increase, which means you're going to have a much higher close rate. Point taken. Okay, so let me show you guys how I set this up. I'm going to go into automations here. And I created this pipeline here called Deal Rot. Now, just so you know, I have a workflow set up that when they respond to the customer, it removes them from this campaign. So the second the, our dealer actually goes or our customer actually goes and replies to the customer, they're going to get removed from this campaign, which is great because it stops them where they were at in the process. So here's what I have set up here. I have when a customer replies, I don't care what channel it is. If you want to get specific, you can. When a customer replies, I immediately add a tag that I called before five minutes. And then what I did is I waited for five minutes. That would be great if they reply to this before five minutes. Uh, but then what happens is it goes to remove tags. So then it removes the before five minute tags you can bet this waited five minutes, removes that tag, and now it applies a new tag called five-minute deal rot, which means it's now in this five-minute window. Then it waits five minutes, and it goes to a 10-minute deal rot, and it, and it removes the other tag and adds the new tag. And notice it keeps doing this, removes the tag, adds the tag, removes the tag, adds the tag. And what that is doing is essentially it's the amount of time that somebody is in this sequence is going, the, that last tag is going to be there. So then if the customer replies to that campaign, it's going to remove them from this sequence. So then I could conclusively say any deals that have this tag on it, it took that long for them to reply uh, or they were in that bucket, so to speak. It might not be exact, but it's close then I can say, okay, if they're in this bucket, how many deals were won with that tag on? Okay, how, what is that percentage? So then the way I set that up in Consolidata was I just literally created these different attributes. Let me show you how this worked. I go in here and I first off, I created um, count of contacts total with the five-minute deal tag and I put updated at. 
boom. So now I can see, and I, I have what's called edit mode turned on because it makes everything just run faster because it's not worrying about pulling actual data when it's in edit mode. So anyways, now that I have this here, I can see, okay, boom, this is a edit number, it's a mock data, but 24 deals. Great, so now all I need to do is figure out how many total deals were there. So then I just go in and I say, I have a, uh, a total response lead. So how many leads in total responded? I got that in here. So now I just create a, a calculation that says here, how, how many five minute deals rots from the total amount of leads responded. And that gives me my convert percentage. So I can see this is the percentage of deals that which you can see right here, 7.83% of deals were followed up within the first five minutes. Then I just go in and I create another attribute that says, okay, if that's wonderful and dandy, how many of these five minute leads were one? And I'm just going through one row because you would do it the same for all. All I have to do is do count a contact status one with the tag five minute deal rot. Boom, I drop that into this widget and now I can see in here that two or one. Great, so now all I need to do is go back into my consolidated and I'm gonna create a conversion rate. I'm gonna say, here's my one leads divided by how many total five minute leads I had, multiply that by 100, that gives me my conversion rate here of 15%. So it's pretty simple. And I just go through and I created that for each one of these rows. And now I can track which bucket they fell into in real time, the percentage of deals, how many deals were won, and what that win rate is. Guys, hopefully this gives you cool ideas. You keep on keeping on. I appreciate you all very much. Have a splendid day.